Martina Gormley here, Chagas. I'm joined today with Jimmy Carter, uh, one of the Focus Farmers, uh, to discuss what worked well this spring, okay, from, particularly from a labour efficiency point of view. So Jimmy, can you tell us a bit about yourself and your family and your farm? My name is Jimmy Cotter from Coachford in Mid Cork. Married to Anne, we have three children, Richard and Miriam are in college and Breed is in secondary school. And um, we make 115 cows in a spring calving system. Jimmy, when I analysed your hours for the spring, so on average for February, March and April, taking away your breaks, you worked 47 hours per week on average, okay? And you had 12 hours of help on average from your family, okay? So look, yeah. that, that's very efficient and I think anyone listening here today would, would um, certainly think the same. Now, looking back at, I suppose, the updates throughout the few weeks, um, you have mentioned technologies uh, and different tools that, that you've purchased on your farm. Um, can you tell us, you know, um, how important these technologies are and, you know, um, what are the key drivers um, for labour efficiency for your farm? They're all important in their own right at different times as well. But for me, the main driver of efficiency on my farm is firstly spring calving and then secondly calving the cows as tightly as possible in the spring we aim for 90 percent calving in six weeks and then the third thing that's important to us on the farm is that we try and move on calves as soon as we can and um, that frees up time and space and makes life easy how do you achieve you know that that you can get the, the calves being sold at a timely manner i suppose yeah well, Martina, we're very lucky that our contract rearer, Sean, lives about two miles from us. Um, he takes away all the beef calves. Okay. Now, Sean keeps some of them for himself for further rearing and the surplus are sold in uh, to the mart uh, from Sean's farm. Okay. So it's working very well for us. At any one time in the springtime, there is no more than three or four calves to be fed um, um, milk and um, the rest are on the machine or else they're gone to Sean's. And the heifer calves, do you keep them yourselves or, or what happens we, with the heifer? Yeah, yes Martina, we keep the heifer calves ourselves. They go on an automatic feeder on their second day. So um, that frees up a lot of work as well. They get beastings for the first two feeds onto the machine then and we more or less forget about them for the next six weeks. The machine looks after them. And when they're weaned uh, off, off the feeder, uh, who looks after them then? When they're weaned, when there's a bunch of, we'll say, maybe 15 or 20 ready to go, Sean takes them for contract rearing and um, the remainder they're not left on the machine until they're weaned and they go to Sean then as well at, at that time when they're finished weaning, finished um, machine. It's working well, Martina, frees up a lot of time and takes the work out of calf rearing for us and Eva. Is there any other key area there that you find is a must for labour efficiency? Martina, I suppose, a milking parlour then as well, I suppose, is very important. We installed a new parlour five years ago and it has made a great difference to our um, labour efficiency. Um, we, For many years we worked in a small parlour and it was taking many hours to milk the cows, so when the opportunity came to install a new parlour, we took it. And um, it's great um, for us, it, um, it frees up time. Um, so look, um, I would say to anybody, um, let their aim be to build a, a parlour that's big enough to milk their cows in five or six rows if they can. So that's really a massive labour saving device because you're making cows morning and evening. So it, um, it really saves time over the weeks and the months and the years. Thanks, Jimmy.